This is the MGTOW Infinium here with another Infinium out and about. This Infinium out and about is entitled The Weaponization of Your Past. My brothers, I'm here at the Fort Monroe Complex, which is a historical site. It uh, is in an active, uh, I believe, Army base. Uh, but it is now a uh, historical site and it's in Hampton, Virginia. But I'm out here and this is one of the harbor ways to the Tidewater area and off in the distance, point, I believe that's the Newport News shipyard off in the distance, I'm not sure, but this is where the naval ships and the container ships stay go out into the ocean, that type of thing. But my brothers, it's a beautiful day. And you see here people out sunning themselves, riding their bikes, doing whatever. But my brothers, I would like to talk to you about the weaponization of your past. And my brothers, typically what happens to us because we are internally men of honor, men of uh, nobility. Even though outwardly we may look like I do, Greek, geeky, nerdy, that type of thing. But internally, one of the driving forces is to do right. Uh, but my brothers, we often encounter situations from women, women, uh, all types of things, cucks, simps, all types of uh, people who cannot comprehend the MGTOW philosophy. And how we encounter them is through the weaponization of our past. I would like to give you an example of what happens to me, my brothers. Uh, typically, when my sister and I get into a confrontation, which I've learned to just stop by being quiet, stop the conf confrontation, because I know that she is trying to gaslight me but before I learned to do this what she would do to me is bring up a past work situation or a past work experience that I had and begin to foment a lie which was this that I was a terrible employee I was mean to my fellow employees that I was pushed out of that job because I was mean. All types of things, my brothers. She would do these things to me. And I came to find out that what my sister was doing was essentially this. She was gathering intel upon me on my job and she had a ignorant black woman who she manipulated who also worked on my job to confront me at times on a daily basis about my family situation and basically what it was was my sister was trying to get me to suck up to what she was doing to be under her control and so what this woman would do was to publicly embarrass me in front of my co-workers ask me uh, information about my family what was happening why was I doing this why won't you do this and do that why won't you speak to this one that one that type of thing and it got to a point where I got sick of it 
because I, I tried to ignore it at first being the gentleman that I was but I got sick of it and I confronted this woman and I told her to mind her business that my family's business was none of her business and to stay out of my business so upon that confrontation this ignorant black woman went back to my sister and said that I did this and therefore I was a mean person I was a terrible person but my brothers in the context of what happened this ignorant black person this ignorant black woman had everything that she had to deal with in her job made better by me so for instance the lighting that was above her head the chair that she sat in the computer station that she sat in the computer that she used everything was because of what I was doing in my job and before all of that happened her workstation as with the other workstations in the shop that I worked in was shambles but my brothers I worked very hard and in ca certain cases I was forced to do things because of my job that I had never done before so like the lighting install that was something that the building or the property managers of the complex I worked in they were supposed to do but I wound up doing that I wound up researching the types of uh, light uh, the lighting systems that they needed uh, because they needed uh, the types of fluorescent lights that did not reflect down onto the workstations I was responsible for getting them the workstations that they needed the uh, types of uh, systems that they needed all those types of things I was responsible for the way the workstations were built the chairs that they had all these things the ergonomics all of these things but yet this woman could not see the benefit of what I was doing but she could only see that I told her to get out of my business and my brothers through the years up until the point where I just began to ignore my sister's using of that lie to try to control me I began to see how pathetic that thing was because at that point I knew where my sister worked but I never did anything like that in terms of getting on to her job contacting employees that I knew to find out about what she was doing I never did anything like that and I basically at the time she was doing all these things I was busting my case on my job I had no intentions or knowledge of what she was doing I had no intentions of finding out what she was doing wondering what she was doing who she was talking to I was focused mainly on my job but yet this lie was fomented about me but again my brothers I began to see that it was a lie being used as a type of weaponization of my past for the purpose of controlling me for the purpose of keeping me under her control so to speak and my brothers that's what you have to see when these things happen to you because they will happen to you they these types of lies will come up either corporately or individually you will be shocked at sometimes when these things happen to you but my brothers again when these things happen to you remember 
the proper context of what happened. And specifically, if it is something where you do not need to try to defend yourself because you know the truth, then you just go on about your business. What I'm saying to you is fight the battles that you need to fight. And don't fight the battles that are unnecessary. Because what happens is, my brothers, is that the lie only shows the pathetic nature of what happened. That's what it does, my brothers. It, it shows how the person who is doing these types of things, think about it. You're there, you're busting your hump, doing your job, minding your business, and somebody who wants to control you, who wants to keep you under their thumbs, so to speak, are putting forth all this effort to control you, to tell you um, that you are under their thumb, to do all types of things to you. Think about that. And yet you are there minding your business, doing your job, doing all the things that you need to do. And then years later, after you've left that job, this is brought up that you did this, that you did that, when all along, my brothers, you were doing the right things. My brothers, it is pathetic, and you have to think about it this way. That person who is doing that, that woman, that woman, that cup, that simp, who is doing that, is wasting their life. They are not wasting your life. They are wasting their lives. Because they could be doing other things to better themselves, to take care of themselves, to do all these types of things. But yet they're doing these things. And they're causing these issues, trying to control you. And my brothers, look at it this way. Look at the context of what's happening here. They are controlling you. Or they are attempting to control you. And they're putting forth all this effort to control you. While you're going about your business. And trying to take care of your, of your business. That's what you're doing my brothers. My brothers again. Don't let these lies, don't let the weaponization of your past be a factor in your future. Don't let the people that do these things to you be a factor in your life. If these things happen to you, and they will happen to you, my brothers, what you need to do is to walk away. Only in the case where it is necessary and it is something like a legal matter where you have to go and deal with that issue. And then only when you have to deal with that issue, you deal with it appropriately. And as when you're into a battle that you have to fight you win that battle. But my brothers again, don't fight the weaponization of a pathetic person who would do these things because they are the ones who are wasting their lives. And what they're trying to do, and particularly in the case of narcissists, what they're trying to do is to pull you down to their level. That's all they're trying to do. That's what they're doing, my brothers. And my brothers, you have to consider that your knowledge, your understanding, and of course, your deflection 
of your resources, your purposes, to you being first, that's why these things happen. That's why the weaponization of your past can happen. And so again, my brothers, don't let these things hinder you on your MGTOW path. Don't let the idiocy of what happens to you when this is done to you. Don't let it do it to you. But again, you walk along the pathway that takes you to freedom. That takes you to the freedom that you deserve. That you rightfully deserve as men. That's what you need to do, my brothers. That's what you need to do because it is fruitless. It is fruitless in many cases to fight the battles of a pathetic person who would take your past, your good past, and weaponize it against you. My brothers, you will find that in many cases where this is done to you, the person that is doing that to you, that is weaponizing your past, cannot, cannot beat you in what you're doing. You may find that you're more advanced than them. You, you are into more things than them. You have more experiences. You have been probably around the world in certain cases. You have, uh, you have done the types of jobs that they could never do or dream of. You have been in places where they, they can never, never understand. And yet they are so pathetic that they will do these things to you. That's what you have to consider when these things come up in your lives. Consider that again. They are wasting their lives. And they are attempting to waste your life by what they are doing to you. They are attempting to keep you under control. But my brothers again. Consider the context of what happened to you in the past and consider what you're doing. At a basic level again, you're doing something profoundly and incomprehensible to those that are doing those things to you. That's what you're doing. You are walking along a road of freedom, on a pathway to freedom. That's what you're doing. And the people that do these things, they have no understanding of what it takes to be free, to be free men. And so therefore, they would do anything and everything to you. Like again, weaponizing your past against you. My brothers, just look at the peace of what's going on. Now I would like to show you, this is a C-17 flying across here. This is, uh, the area that I live in is a huge naval uh, air force, army. I believe there are five or six bases in this area. But my brothers, Look at the peace that is here. And look at the, the peace of your life as a MGTOW man. Look at the opportunities that are unfolding before you. Yes, they may be minuscule at, at first, but look at the the things that are going right for you when these things come up in your lives. Look at the benefits of the MGTOW philosophy. Look at all the wonderful aspects of your life that is unfolding before you. And my brothers, in doing so, you will see 
that the weaponization of your past will be insignificant to the power and the capability of you as a free man walking along a pathway which takes you to freedom. This is the MGTOW Infinium and this has been an Infinium out and about. My MGTOW brothers as always, stay safe, stay strong, stay on the MGTOW path and remember MGTOW is the liberation of men's minds. MGTOW cannot and will not be stopped.